being rooted in what well, I mean media portrays this so well like media portrays not only portrays encourages and supports severely and very toxically co-creative or sorry codependent relationship look at disney that's all they talk about is we fell in love at first sight and we're going to get married before happily the end of the after. first scene yeah. but happily ever after is when they get married doesn't talk about what happens. <laughs> doesn't talk about what happens afterwards <laughs> right. it all cuts off right there at the end <laughs> right before the thing blows up right <laughs> you said <laughs> right so in that what i realized is what I'm really good at, and I've had a number, and I'm, I've assessed why this happens now, but after like the second or third woman says, I felt like it was a bait and switch because who you were when you were single and I met you and who you are now four months in a relationship were two different people. Because what happens is I started giving myself away, giving myself away and serving, serving, serving and losing myself in yes. that relationship. We've all done it. Hi. Yeah. I know who you are. <laughs> um, and then for me, what happens, I hit this breaking point, which is that snap point where all of a sudden she's sneezing and I'm getting irritated, right? The way she walks across the room irritates me. Yep. And for me, what I started realizing is that's my litmus of I'm in too far too quick. I'm giving myself away. And here's the important thing is I'm not giving myself time for me. Mm -hmm. And that's my litmus. And I know this now because I, I had a brief relationship in like a month or two last year mm -hmm. where that was starting to come up. And I was starting to feel the irritation. I'm like, oh, right. When was the last time I hung out with myself? Mm, it's been a while. Yeah. Or when was the last time I hung out with my buddies? It's been a while. Yeah. So for me, and I don't know if this is helpful for anyone here, but regardless, when I'm in that point of starting to get irritated and with short with other people, my invitation for you is to check yourself. Are you doing self-care? And self-care could be whatever it is. It could be, you know, spa day, alone day, quiet day, day of silence, dog walk in the woods, solo trap, whatever it is. But, you know, drink with the buddies, drinks with the girls, whatever it is. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you giving yourself too much into that relationship? Because you need balance and chances are, and here's the other kicker for me was in the relationship, because the precedent had been set that we do everything together. Oh my <laughs> God, we, we love each other every day and it's either your house or my house and every meal and then we live together and then, oh my God, it's amazing. And then irritation comes up, right? So... <laughs> The problem was is the precedent's been said that we always do things together. So if this person goes, I need space, all of a sudden this person like, freaks what's out. What's going on? Yep, right? Yep. When in reality, this person's having a reality check and going, I need space because I need to take a breath. And this person just does that again. And then all of a sudden it's like this person starts freaking out. Or yep. they go, oh, actually, no, I'm kidding. And then they just lose themselves back into it. Right? So what if, and this is what I, part of my own challenge in the next relationship I get into, is that how can from the outset we said we set that precedent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of healthy space healthy boundaries right 